Meet Serena, your virtual companion for emotional support. The ultimate safe space to discuss your thoughts, your fears, and the ups and downs of daily life. Start your free trial today at serena.chat. I, 29M, just found out my wife, 28F, had an emotional affair. How do I navigate this? Well, here I am making a post that I never thought I would. My wife and I are super close, for the longest time I thought we were really transparent with each other. We share passwords, bank accounts, cars, etc. One day after work, I decided to list some stuff for sale online. So I logged into my wife's laptop, detachable with a camera, and started taking pics of items. As I was uploading pics and editing item descriptions, she received a message on Discord. It said, are you okay? I miss you. A chill ran down my spine, and I clicked on the message. What I found was nothing short of an emotional affair. For the past five years, my wife has been messaging this person in ways that I thought she only spoke to me. She referred to me as a friend in the messages, never said my name and told this man that she loved him. Three of the five years that she messaged him we were dating, two of the we spent married. In the first three years of messages she told him all sorts of things. She asked when he'd finally come to visit, asked if if he was real. She told him that she loved him over and over, she sexted, sent one nude, it's all I found, and almost begged him to come take her away. This went on until the end of 2021. We married around October 21st. He told her he loved her too. It wasn't just dirty, romantic things it was also everyday things. I remember during our dating that she'd asked me for advice and consulted him on my advice. After we got married, she continued to talk to this man. She sent him pictures of our car, pet, belongings and claimed they were all hers and could be theirs. She spoke to him during work and late at nights. She stopped responding to him in April of this year but he kept sending messages. She was still at work when I discovered all of this. So I printed out the messages and waited for her to get home. She got home, I confronted her and she told me the truth. I asked her if she cheated on me in any of the time that we were together. She got slightly offended and said no. I asked again, she denied. So I pulled out the screenshots. She was in shock. So I asked her again, she said she did. I asked her if she ever had sex with this man or anyone else, she said no. I asked if she ever met him, she said no. I asked if she really planned on it, she said no. She said all this started because she was really into role playing at the time and gets too emotional when texting someone like that. I told her I know, I could feel the emotions in their exchanges. I asked if she meant anything she said, she said no and then she began to cry. Then I asked about the nude. She said she wasn't thinking, she was stupid. She apologized. It wasn't a full body nude, just a lifting of the shirt. She didn't send any nudes beyond the initial, only, one. I was crying and shaking when confronting my wife. She was hanging her head in shame and crying as well. I told her that what she did was infidelity, specifically an emotional affair. I told her that she broke my trust. I told her that it'll take time to regain it and from that day forward I want nothing but transparency. She apologized again and said she'd be truthful from now on. The answers she gave me were going to determine what I did next. I was not angry or frustrated. I was in a state of shock, disbelief, and sadness. While I waited for my wife to get home, I put in my clothes, got my pet and was prepared to leave for my parents' house. After receiving her answers I decided to stay. I don't want to give up on us. I told her I never want to see his name again and I don't want her talking to another man the way she did with him. There was no physical affair, she claims it was all emotional and one nude. She said she never met him, had sex with him, or planned on it. He's out of state. She said it was the only thing she hid from me. She then deleted the text history and blocked the man at my request. This was all last night. I'm sitting here this morning wondering if my response was correct. Had she done anything more I was prepared to leave. How would one navigate this? She never came clean to you. You had to find out yourself. She even lied when confronted. You can't ever trust her again. She didn't make a mistake. She chose to actively cheat for five years. Lie about you being her husband and sexed, send nudes. I don't believe she didn't sleep with him, and nor should you. It's keep the proof, divorce her time. You say if she had done anything more you'd be prepared to leave, but, would you? Because as it stands, the only thing your wife has not done with this man is physically cheat, and even that's up in the air if she denied the online cheating initially, there's a very good chance she's lying about them having never met up. 
You're already giving her a hell of a lot of leeway and it reads like you're willing to ignore the fact she is likely lying about everything else to continue the facade of your marriage. Let's be real, dude. It went on for five years. She had no intention of telling you, and if you hadn't found the evidence, she never would have. I went through this three separate times, I should have got out the first time it happened. I'm sorry. You should divorce this woman. You can't stay till death. Do you want to spend your life with a cheater that has no respect for you? Nah. There will be more. Lawyer up. If you're willing to stay make sure she sends one last email that informs him she is married and send a wedding pic of the two of you. My, 26M, fiancé, 25M, was a pity date, how do I tell him? Hell, throw away because this contains a bit more personal info than I'd like on my main. I, 26 male, first went out with my fiancé Sean, 25 male, when my, at the time, best friend Ruby, his sister, told me that he was super lonely and asked me to go out with him because I was the only gay guy around his age that she knew. Well, I owed her a major favor and also kinda felt bad for him, to put it bluntly, he had no friends, so I agreed and asked him to the movies. Honestly I was a bit scared of him, he's 6 feet 5 inches and muscular while I'm only 5 feet 9 inches and not what you'd call athletic. I figured I'd go on one date then let him down gently. He said yes, and we, surprisingly, had an amazing time. It went so well, I actually ended up going back to his apartment and getting shitfaced while playing Uno with him. Turns out, in spite of the height difference and his social anxiety, he's a great guy and very sweet once he opens up. Long story short, it's four years later and we're getting married in a month. Yesterday, Ruby came to me and asked me what Sean thought of the fact that our first date was because she set us up out of pity. I admitted that I hadn't told him because I didn't see the point. She then told me that I was being cruel by not telling him, and told me that I had a week to tell Sean or she would tell him herself. She framed it like she was exposing a scandal and I have no doubt that she'd spin it to make me look like a liar who led him on or something. There's a reason she's not my best friend anymore, we only talk now because of Sean. The problem is, Sean hates being pitied. Yes he's tall and athletic, but he's also extremely shy and introverted, and on top of that he missed a lot of school due to an illness and accident back to back, the latter of which resulted in him losing a leg. As a result, throughout high school he had zero social interactions, his words, and his social skills were pretty stunted when we first went out. Anyway, according to him the pity from teachers and former friends was always the worst part, and he can't stand being pitied to this day. I'm terrified to tell him about the circumstances of our first date, because I'm nervous it would make him see me differently and or damage our relationship. I love this guy, legitimately one of the best humans I've ever met. I'd hate for this all to blow up in my face because I didn't just tell him earlier. I don't think this is all that uncommon. A friend sets you up with someone that you don't think you click with, but you try anyways and it goes great. If you do tell him, this shouldn't be a major deal. Some part of you was curious to begin with, or you wouldn't have agreed at all. I don't think you need to say, you were a pity date, and nor does this have to be some serious conversation. It's almost humorous emo. I think you're a good man. But she's trying to cause drama. If you can have a conversation with her that all this is going to do is hurt his feelings and make him feel bad. Is that what she really wants? Or is she jealous? Is she actually Sean's friend? Why would you ever tell him this? Why? She's trying to sabotage your relationship because you aren't friends with her anymore. You either tell the truth, get rid of all the information that she can bring up that would show it's true and then become a great liar. Really only two options. What is she even thinking? Were you nasty about him at the time? Were you particularly disparaging or something? What's the big deal? Sit him down and tell him that his sister set up you up on the first date and at that point you'd only gone out with him because his sister asked you. Tell him that and that for some reason his sister is now making out like it's a big deal and has threatened you about it but it really isn't a big deal. You were set up, you weren't sure about it all, you went on a date you got on and fell in love. Let's be honest, if people only dated people they were immediately attracted to, half the people in the world wouldn't exist. Love isn't a lightning bolt, it grows like an oak tree. Getting shitfaced while playing Uno with him. Excellent euphemism for sex. Anyway, if you want to beat her to the punch, a not terrible way to do that is to say that when you first met him you thought he was going to be one type of person, using all of the terminology that you used about his size, and then you were surprised that he was another type of person and that's who you fell in love with. He, 34 male, sent me, 32F. 
this message today and I'm not sure how to react or respond. He and I have been dating for four months now. He's a health nut and is a sweetheart. I have self-confidence and body issues. I'm a thicker gal but I am finding ways to be more healthy and lose weight. I'm emotionally hurt. Not by what he is trying to say but more from the word choices and how he wants me to lose weight for his own attraction. Dot. He said. This is very uncomfortable for me. And I don't enjoy thinking or expressing certain thoughts but I know we need to both do that. I guess I'm afraid to say this any other way but I would like for you to be in better shape. You will feel better and have fewer issues when you get older, and it's more enjoyable for me. It enhances attraction because guys tend to be very visual. I'm attracted to you and want you. I don't want you to feel undesirable because that is not the case. It doesn't mean your value is tied to that at all either. It won't change my feelings about you. Hard it would be cool I guess. I like certain things, that's all. Minimal is I guess whatever you need to do that. Some people can do almost nothing but I think doing some kind of training 2-3 days a week would be good. It's not just about the weight but also bone health, etc. Ultimately some muscle helps with so many things and long term makes weight management easier. Here it doesn't need to be anything crazy. I know it sounds overwhelming but if it's a lifestyle change it ends up being fun later. I don't want to be too prescriptive. This is all you. I only want to help you if you ask. I want you to find your own path, whatever it is. I don't to be annoying or make you hate me. I know you have a lot going on and are working on a ton of things. This is not meant to be pushy at all. I just want you to know my thoughts and desires. My thought though is that you're worth more than all that. Heart. If you're not happy with women who look like me, don't date women who look like me. Pretty simple. Goodbye and good luck. What a prick. Find someone who thinks you look great now, not at some hypothetical weight, shape that he determines is best. I love how he tries to guise his own selfish needs as genuine concern for your long-term health and well-being. That is absolute bullshit and he's clearly very shallow and manipulative already after four months. Talk about a bad delivery. I can't think of a time a man told a woman to make wholesale health and fitness changes and got a positive, enthusiastic response. He wants you to lose weight because, and I quote, it's more enjoyable, for him and, enhances attraction. Dump him. It's absolutely fine to have preferences but it is not fine to tell someone to change who they are so it's, more enjoyable, for their partner. He's literally fat shaming you, telling you to change for him but then gaslighting you into believing he isn't fat shaming you. This guy is not healthy. I'd block him. But you could also reply that you would really like him to invest in penis enhancers and a maybe he could do a few pumps of the penis pump to you know, make it more enjoyable for you. Like that is literally how dumb he sounds. Wife, 25F, told me, 29M, that my needs won't get met until hers are. My, 25F, wife and I, 29M, tried to have a conversation about each other's needs. She had a very long list of things that I need to work, improve on and most of it was trivial things, for example, buying X brand instead of Y brand, spending more time at home than at work, etc. But I said I would work on a lot of it. I then said that I don't feel loved at all because she never really wants to touch me. Physical touch is a huge part to me and makes me feel loved. This lack of physical touch and has led to a dead bedroom. As I poured out how I was feeling, she goes, well that's not important to me so I dk why it is to you. As I explained again why, she said she understands but then said, I only will do that after all of my needs are met. Dot. This shocked me to say the least. I remained calm and asked, what about days when I can't do it all and just need you? She shrugged and then I stated that this feels like very selfish and that you are saying your needs are more important. She goes, well, they kind of are more important. I've given up on asking for intimacy or anything close to it. I don't even try to hold hands or anything because she's so against it. She refuses counseling and I'm just at a loss of what to do. Edit. Thank you to all who made the time to comment. I don't think I explained what her needs were enough or my general thoughts. When I said, trivial, it should been, more chores than actual needs, and things along those lines. For example, one of them was to clean the entire house and wash both cars, which is I understand service is what some people's needs. And she made some fair points and I promised to make a solemn effort to improve myself. I was thinking of adding the part originally where I said I would make an honest effort, but sorry for the confusion. It sounds like you simply need to accept that your relationship is over. You have both drifted apart and your needs and her needs are no longer compatible. 
You need a physical relationship and she has made it clear that that isn't important to her. So the problem you now have is that even if she does give you some physical love, you are going to feel like she really isn't interested in doing this. Been there, and found that the loneliness of this was worse than any loneliness I've felt when been on my own. Good luck going forward, but I'd suggest you now both sit down and try and have an adult conversation about breaking up. Dude get a lawyer and divorce her. Why put up with someone who literally said you matter less than chores? Flip it back on her. Both of your needs are important so if she demands tit for tat tell her it goes both ways. Divorce her these were all the things that needed to be talked about before the relationship. What the heck? Divorce.